Hello, welcome back. So now we're going to go over chapter three of uh, Takaki's uh, Asians from a different shore, uh, strangers from a different shore. And let me put it on record. Let's see, share screen. And let's share. Okay. All righty. Strangers from a Different Shore by Ronald DeConkey. My learning objectives today is to learn the early history of the Chinese in the United States, 1800s. Recommended books I have for you are Unbound uh, Feet by Judy Zhang, A Social History of Chinese Women in San Francisco, fascinating. And you must read this book by Sujin Chan, This Bitter Sweet Soil. Very interesting and very, particularly if you're into farming and Central Valley and the cultivation that these Chinese men did to help out the land. And also recent books such as The Chinese Must Go by Beth Lou Williams. Very fascinating about violence, exclusion, how, you know, it's, it's you see a lot of things that are still occurring now. More recommended books I have for you are the national bestseller Bone by Fei uh, Nung. Uh, I think it's Wong in, in Chinese. Uh, the Woman Warrior, of course, if you're an, an English major. Uh, Maxine Hong Kingston, you guys all know that. Irish Chang, The Chinese in America, a very great writer. Um, also the author of the best-selling uh, book called The Rape of Nanking. I can't read that book myself, but I do own it. Uh, very un, un sad uh, pictures. Um, also, if you're interested in kind of graphic novels, American Born Chinese by Jean, uh, Jean Yang. Very fascinating and wonderful. And it's actually taught in many uh, schools now. Now the Chinese came for the railroad and they searched for the Golden Mountain or Gum San. Uh, the Ghost of Golden Mountain by Gordon H. Chang uh, is a great book for you to read if you're interested in that. Initially, they were, Chinese were very welcome when they first came to the United States. They came for what reason? Pause it, answer the question. Yes. They came, you are correct. They came for the gold rush, right? 1849, there's a huge gold rush. People were going all over the world to get laborers to um, find gold. And one of the places they went is actually into China and also the Philippines. Now, it was a very difficult. Uh, they had to use uh, jets of water. Miners attempted to get uh, gold from these places, uh, this Dutch flat, California, very difficult. Lots of lives were lost uh, to kind of industrialize um, or to modernize California and, and uh, in, in a sense, in America. And who was at the forefront of that? Chinese, Chinese workers, right? And again, they don't, didn't get their, their proper due. Now, during the time when they're initially um, welcome, there was a Navitus or Navitus call, which is California for Americans only, right? And again, just how they were welcome, they were quickly after their labor was used and abused, they were actually quickly pushed out. And so you had all these things that said, Chinese must go, no, no, no. Come to the 10th and streets of 7.30 Monday evening, express your opinion about the Chinese question. So if you watch my other videos, you'll know the Chinese were always called the yellow peril, right? Disease, exotic, um, uh, full of cunning, right? Um, uh, eunuchs, because all men, right? Um, asexualized or over-sexualized, right? And so again, uh, or women, right? So all these like negative stereotypes and had a lot to do with uh, the fact that, you know, people were fighting for jobs and it was like these unions that were saying all these things about Chinese. So it's unequal legislator and their wife from history. So again, in 1850, there was the foreign miners tax, imposed a tax of $20 a month on foreign miners, which is crazy, right? That was actually very much uh, depicted, um, pointed to Chinese, right, in particular. The last spike in Utah, I talked about last class, um, there's no Chinese in the picture, which completely uh, invisibilized in history uh, and um, although big part. And again, if you want to look more about how Chinese have very much affected America by uh, going through um, 
these books. Uh, there's Empire Tracks uh, by Manu Karuku, excellent. Indigenous Nations, Chinese Workers, and the Transcontinental Railroad, excellent book. The Chinese and the Iron by Gordon Ch Chang, the Ghosts, a Golden Mountain, and Escape to Golden Mountain. So if you're interested in like looking also into Canada, how the treatment of Chinese were also negative as well. They used Chinese labor to make their railroads, but again, discarded them in lots of yellow peril trope as well. All right, and so here I, I want to talk about a little bit about how um, here there's a depiction of the Trans Continental Railroad. Of course, you see no Chinese again. Um, I want you to look and I want you to think deeply. You want to pause right now. This would be a great time to think about the Chinese Exclusion Act and the 2020 kind of Muslim and Mexican. It became kind of like a blueprint for other groups, right? So you can never think about the, the racist legislation that's happening to other groups and not think about the beginning of the original racist uh, legislature, right? Of course, of the, of, of course the, the genocidal things that they, they did to Native Americans, right, to take away the land, but also it's just a, a broad legislation, which is the 1882 Chinese Exclusion Act. I want you to think deeply how the 2020 uh, Muslim and Mexican is a kind of a, a, those bans and those mistreatments have everything to do with what happened in 1882 because they're using it as a blueprint. So again, very crucial to know for your knowledge, right? As a, as a top 6% of the world, very few college students, um, very few people actually get to know like what's really happening, right? And the injustices that happen again, unfortunately they recycle those injustices and, and, the, and it keeps going, right? So the past is not the past, it's still here. Question, well, how do you think the 1882 Chinese Exclusion is still applied to others today? And is it, a, yeah, so that's a question. Pause and you can write that in your journal, okay? Again, I want you to look at popular culture in terms of like looking at Chinese exclusion and what is Chinese American life. We have the, the kind of the Chinese Singaporean kind of number one movie. We have Fresh Off the Boat, which is a, a kind of a, a family of Asian Americans, okay? So learning outcomes today, you learned about the early history of Chinese in the United States and their kind of like mistreatments and how it directly actually is uh, very much directly um, connected to what's happening now. All right, thank you and I'll see you next class.